So, I guess I've been talking about gold a little bit on this channel and clearly that has caused a great deal of cognitive dissonance in some of the gold bugs that happen to watch my videos, right? As expected. The things that they've been told, well, I'm telling them something completely different or I'm making them question all the things that they believe to be true, right? And I'm showing them evidence of how they've been potentially lied to. The people that convinced them to do something were dead fucking wrong. And they're having a hard time dealing with this because they're ideologically committed to the gold scam, in my opinion. My opinion. And I've provided plenty of evidence for that, right? Um, some resources you could check out. Like the, for example, this idea that, you know, gold has always been money, right? Which was used to sell you gold, right? I've provided tons of evidence for why that's a lie, okay? Because gold isn't money. Most people won't take it. You have to convince them the same way you convinced yourself, were convinced that gold is money. Once you convince everybody, then maybe you could use gold as if it were money. But it, it will never be money. Gold is a good. Okay, that's like saying that food is money. And in some sense, like time is money. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But no, it's not money in the purest form. It's not. That's not what money is. Gold is a good. <laughs> and all these gold bugs selling you it will say that, right? Well, it's used in industry. We need it for this and that. Uh, we make pretty jewelry out, out of it, right? Yeah, gold is a good. It's not money. When, when you take gold to somebody and get something in exchange for that, you're exchanging goods. You are bartering. So on, for a lot of these gold bugs, on the one hand, to say barter doesn't work, and then on the other hand, to say gold is money, God damn, you guys are fucking dumb the fuck down. Gold is not money. Never was and never will be. Not in its purest sense. Okay? That's not money. Gold is a good. Used. And you could use it to barter for other goods. If you could convince other people that this, this shiny little object is worth something. And another thing that I brought up was that gold was imposed as this money on the people by a central government, the Roman Empire. <laughs> there have been tons of archaeological digs where they found swords, right? So presumably warriors. They found uh, skeletons with, you know, swords and armor and that type of stuff. So they were warriors, not, not the richest people out there, right? And they were buried with, like, gold objects sometimes jewelry sometimes chalices whatever they, they just buried these people with all this gold like something that's valued in the millions today just 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 in the price of gold itself it wasn't that valuable to them it was pretty it was shiny it was malleable it was easy to make shit out of it but it wasn't that valuable who the fuck in their right mind would bury themselves with millions of fucking dollars in their grave and they're finding more and more of this shit all over the goddamn place. And it's, and it's not even like it's kings and queens and shit. Which maybe you could somehow find a way to justify it. No, gold was pretty, it was shiny, it was easy to work into very intricate, pretty shapes. And, and people liked it. And they used it for that, primarily. A lot of cultures did. And then the Roman Empire imposed it as money. But before, but it wasn't always money. No, it wasn't. That's a fucking lie, period. That could be very easily proved. So these gold bugs telling you that gold has always been money are lying to you. Or at the very least, they're not telling you the truth. So there's another problem with the whole fucking theory. And this whole idea that, oh, well, it's, it's needed for the industry to make all these beautiful things, right? And, 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 and to create all these electronics and computers and everything that we need. Okay, great. But then, but then it's a safe haven in times of economic uh, crash or distress or something like that. Oh, so when all the industry stops, right, and people are no longer making computers and electronics and all, this thi all these things, or less of them anyway because the economy is in the trash can, then it's going to skyrocket. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense, people. 
Like, how fucking dumb can you be to believe the bullshit? So what happened with gold, right? Not only did they not tell you the truth, and in my opinion, lied to you about a lot of these things. What about all the projections? None of that shit came true. Gold is going to be blah, 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 so-and-so, and so so much money. None of that happened. None of it. None of it happened. So there's another, I'll call it a lie. They were lying. Why? Because they want to sell you gold. If this guy believes that gold is going to be millions of dollars yesterday, why is he selling it? Because he wants you to be rich? (laughs) When you being rich means you're just competition for him and less money for him. Right? Why is he selling it? Why? Simple. Really simple to make fucking money off you suckers. That's why he's selling it. Why is that so difficult? Where is, where is gold price right now? I don't even know. But is, is it even $2,000? It, it went up to like 2 Gs, a little bit over 2 Gs. And then it went back down to, I don't know, 1600 1500 something like that. So what happened? Well, there was economic distress. We had a crash in 2008. A lot of people were scared. And they were looking to preserve money, do something with their money. And a bunch of gold opportunistic gold bugs took advantage of these suckers and told them to buy gold and and it became a huge pump and fucking dump scheme right gold is going to be this it's going to be gold has always been money gold like just giving you all the bullshit i already just talked about shit that doesn't make any sense contains uh, blatant fucking contradictions these theories that they gave you right and they pumped the price of gold up to two g's because everybody was buying it that's why the price of gold went up, because everybody wanted it, because they were convinced that it was the thing to do, was to buy gold. So they did. Yeah? And now that economy, well, prior to what's happening right now, the economy bounced back. People were doing better, right? The price, they stopped buying gold as much. The price of gold went down. Simple. It's real simple shit. Real simple, right? Meanwhile, they've been printing more and 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 more money. And they keep printing the money and the gold ain't going up. They're full of shit. They lied to you. They took advantage of you. And you're a fucking sucker stuck holding the fucking bag. Because you probably got in at, what? Be honest, 1800 an ounce? (laughs) Yeah. God damn, that must suck. Still holding on to this fucking fairy tale. It's it, look, just just examine all the presuppositions. Examine all the claims, the foundational claims of this fucking gold bug ideology. Examine all the claims and see if they're true. You'll find out that they're not. So how how can the conclusion be true? And lo and behold, it's not. Gold has not skyrocketed the way they said. And I tell I tell you exactly why. Right? Explain it to you. Look, I could be wrong, but what's what's your answer? Gold is money. Gold has always been money. You're just repeating lies. Because it hasn't. I'm I'm showing you exactly how you've been lied to, proving to you that these statements you make are bullshit. And then I'm showing you the results, which are in exact opposition to what the gold bugs have been telling you. Right, showing you that they've been wrong, and I'm telling you why. Like, why is logic so difficult to follow? Why? Because you're fucking ideologically possessed, man. You're possessed. You're committed. You're fucking vegan, and your food is gold. Basically, what's the difference? I don't see any. But it's nice and easy to point it out in other people when it comes to this and that. But ultimately, you're just projecting who you are. Shit, you were probably vegan at some point, huh? Carnivore, what's the fucking difference? Ideologically, there isn't one. Not to say that, you know, some people are just fucked because of this, this, and that, and the only thing they can eat that doesn't fuck them up is meat. That does happen. But, you know, carnivory has essentially become, for a lot of people, a lot like veganism. Slightly different. Not as fucking crazy, you know, but it's still just an ideology. And like, come the fuck down, man. Eat some chocolate cake once in a while. Have a pizza. Relax. Oh, man. That's a pretty good rant. 
You like my tomato soup pond? Maybe we'll make a video about it if, uh, if it turns out to be a success. If it's a complete and utter failure, you'll never know about it. <laughs> what else did I want to say? Capitalism, guys, like how difficult is it? I'm not saying that I'm right about everything and that I'm defining things the way you understand them. But, but I already explained that. What I'm talking about when I say capitalism, right? I already explained that. And it's the concept of private property, right? That's, that's the problem with capitalism. I don't got a problem with people making contracts, wheeling and dealing, doing whatever the fuck they got to do to survive in this world. I don't got a problem with people owning land, working the land. I don't got a problem with any of that. It's the concept of private property carried out to its extreme. That's fucking problematic. Okay? If a group of people want to wanna own a piece of land together, well, that, that, that's still private property. It, it just has multiple owners. Okay? They're, they're still going to find a way to divvy up that property and have different responsibilities, and they're not going to completely and utterly 100% share in everything the same way. Everybody most likely will have their little piece that will be theirs or whatever, and, and they'll work it and do something with it. Like, I don't have a problem with private property. Like, I want to own, truly own property myself without paying taxes to anybody. I, I want to be able to do that. It's this, it's this idea that you could just continuously accumulate private property, which is capitalism. I already explained this. Why are you guys still struggling with, with this? Let's not get bogged down in the details. Let's zoom out and talk about the bigger picture, which is how we got to the point where we are. Okay, okay. capitalism didn't always exist for starters, right? In the Americas, they did not have this ideology of capitalism. I can't tell you exactly how things were done, but I, I would venture a guess, and there's a lot of evidence that they were done the same way they were done in Eastern Europe, for example, in, in Asia, okay? People had land and they worked it. Yeah, there was theft. Yeah, there was robbery. Yeah, there was murder. Yeah, there was all these... Yeah, no doubt about it. Shit happens. Welcome to reality. But you had land that you worked and it was yours. And you didn't own all these, like, great amounts of land that you couldn't work. Because f for what reason? You would have need needed slaves to work it for you, right? And that's where we find ourselves today. There's a whole bunch of a few landowners, right? Countries, individuals. It's all private property, essentially. Even if it has many owners, some of these properties. With slaves working the land for them. That's what we got. That's capitalism. Of course it is. It has to be. There's no other way. Now, if some people want to be slaves, then I got no problem with that. But a lot of us don't want to be slaves. But we don't have... An option, do we? Because capitalism is imperialism. It's, it's tyranny. How the fuck did these so-called capitalists get their land in the first place? Let's talk about reality. Fuck your fucking theories. Fuck your utopian La La Land bullshit. Let's talk about reality. How did these capitalists get their land? They stole it. Not all of it, maybe. But they just, they just took it. They murdered people in the process. Not always, but they murdered people and they took their shit. Right? Or, or they gave them gold or something for it and, and they took it from them. But what right did those people have to disenfranchise their descendants? They, they don't have the right to do that. They want to be slaves themselves? Hey, that's your free will. Go ahead, be a slave to somebody else. But you don't have the right to sell this land to somebody forever and disenfranchise your unborn children. What, what the fuck is wrong with you people that you don't understand some, this, some of you? How difficult is this to understand? So in a purely capitalist system where the means of production, land being the most important one, are private, that means that all the land on this whole fucking planet is owned by somebody privately, period. And you can't take it from them because that's not real capitalism. Even though that's how it was taken from the people in the first place, which was real capitalism. Like you don't see the inherent contradiction? Who gave you the fucking right to buy and sell land in the first place? Who? Who came up with this nonsense? It's complete and not a nonsense that you could own as much land as you want because I print money and I'm going to give you this money and by the force of the gun, I'm going to tell you that you have to use this money or I will kill you and then you, I'm going to give you this money and take your land from you. That's fucking theft, people. And most of the time it wasn't even like that. People just got shot, murdered, chased out and they took their shit. That's capitalism. It is. 
how do you own something that no one owns or that that nobody owns permanently how do you, how do you you have to institute this nonsense by the force of a fucking gun because everybody wasn't cool with that so your whole idea of capitalism is built on tyranny you need tyranny to institute capitalism and capitalism leads to tyranny it makes perfect fucking sense does it not so if all the land is privately owned because that is capital the fucking lism how do we enfranchise the unborn? The people that are constantly coming into this world. They have no chance of participating in your fucking capitalist system because it's fucking tyranny, morons. Is it really that difficult? Man, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. I got shit to do. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.